The woman at the bar last night who noticed my body language. To the woman at the bar last night who noticed my body language, thank you. You couldn't have known the specifics. Maybe the guy that was being aggressive with me was my boyfriend, and we were just having a fight. Maybe you were afraid to get involved in a stranger's business. But you saw my nervous, intimidated body language, and you acted. There were couples and groups everywhere, but it took you, another girl alone at the bar, to recognize my struggle and act. We made eye contact, me twisting my body away from the man's touchy hands, and I pleaded with my eyes. The look you gave me back was more than clear, you understood exactly what was happening to me. You'd probably been through it yourself. You came over, calling me by a generic term instead of a random name. I would have played along if you had called me Jen, or something, but that might have led the man to thinking I gave him a fake name. That might have pissed him off. You really thought of everything. Hey, girl, it's been such a long time, you said, extending your arms in a lifeline. You wrapped your arms around me, a different sort of stranger's touch from the man's hand on my knee. I squealed like we were long-lost best friends, and I asked you what you were doing here. I remember the dull ache in my stomach when I heard you say that you were celebrating getting your master's in marine biology. Once upon a time, long before Rob and me ran these schemes in dirty bars, I had been a little girl that wanted to be a marine biologist. Oh well, that was literally a lifetime ago. Oh my god congrats, girl. I yelled at you violently, and I asked if you wanted to dance. Of course, you replied, returning my vigor like I had loaned it to you. We headed out to the dance floor, and I thought long and hard about giving Rob the signal to cancel the whole thing. Your interest in marine biology made me feel guilty for a moment, but I ultimately took it as a sign that you were just my type. That you would taste wonderful, and God knows how hungry I was. So, we danced, leaving behind Rob at the table. He hunkered off, pretending to be dejected. Nobody noticed him pass by where you had been sitting before. Nobody noticed him pour a small vial of liquid into your drink. 